What if we change the conversation, move the conversation away from the strength of the virus towards the strength of the body? You see, I know full well that your body's ability to overcome disease like coronavirus is far greater than anyone, including our government, the CDC, and these administrative doctors had led you to believe. In fact, Merck, a pharmaceutical company and vaccine producer, was working on a COVID vaccine, but they stopped. The reason being, they said it was far more effective to get the virus naturally and recover than to get the shot. In fact, they stated the vaccinated group had inferior immunity to the unvaccinated. And the hospitals in town, I saw them post something on social media and I've also seen many claims, but they said there's nothing you can do naturally to fight this disease. And I find that very insulting. I believe that is the worst thing you can tell a patient because it steals all hope. And right now these administrative doctors or organizations in the government is they're not using this opportunity to educate the people. It means to be healthy. Instead they're telling us there's nothing we can do. So just sit back in your recliner, watch your television, eat your Doritos, drink your sodas, avoid the gym, and stay far away from your neighbor and wear multiple masks. And just wait till this savior of a vaccine comes. Well, most people I know don't want anything to do with the vaccine. And Pfizer, one of the vaccine companies pushing this vaccine out, has a track record. And I'm going to read the short list to save time because I only have three minutes. Pfizer received the biggest fine in U.S. history as part of a $2.3 billion plea for mispromoting medicines and paying back to compliant doctors. Pfizer paid more than $60 million to settle a lawsuit over a diabetes medication that caused patients to die from acute liver failure. They paid $430 million in 2004 to settle criminal charges for bribing doctors. In 2011, they committed racketeering fraud and agreed to pay $142 million in the settlement. They were caught using Nigerian children as human guinea pigs without the parents' consent, violating the Nuremberg Code. Now, vaccines, the vaccine courts have paid over $4 billion in injuries since 86, and only 1% of vaccine injuries are reported. Not only that, I have a dossier, dossier put together by some of the best attorneys in the nation and physicians. This is the dossier that I'm going to submit to the council calling for the arrest of Dr. Fauci. On page four, it talks about the violations. It is well documented, well reported, and well researched. Some of the re, uh, violations, and I'm, I'm again going to read the short list. Um, marketing manipulation, conspiring to criminal commercial activity, lying to Congress, acts of domestic terrorism resulting in the death of American citizens, and funding and conspiring to commit acts of terror. I encourage you to read through this. This was sent to me from some of the best physicians that I, and attorneys that I know. Newsflash. Our health is not the number one priority of these drug commercials, our drug companies. Their main priority is to sell more drugs and vaccines. In other words, they don't care about our health, they care about our stockholders. Dermophobia used to be a mental health disorder, but now it's considered a virtue. We're told that a droplet causes the spread of this disease, and the germ theory doesn't tell the full story. Blaming this disease on a droplet or germ is like blaming the flies for the trash. We must get back to being human again, loving thy neighbor not fearing him. My shirt says the immune system is not a conspiracy. Going to need you to wrap up. It's time to lift the regulations and get back to the old normal. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Chapper. Dr. Merritt.